There are very few animal groups here in Asia that even come close to surpassing Aussie spiders in terms of being subjected to a unholy amount of misinformation presented by Americans than perhaps Vespa mandarinia, the Asian giant hornet. Trust me, you really don't have to look far in order to find a plethora of sensationalism about these magnificent animals circulating around the internet. From the endless slew of headlines about murder horns Hornets, throwing air quotes here, to the insatiable scaremongering that is AI-generated content farming channels. As for self-proclaimed voice of reason, Coyote Peterson, it would come as no surprise making a sting video would do little to fuck all to alleviate the misconceptions, as this was the end result. Ah! Oh, this thing stuck in my arm! Oh! Is it? Oh man, wave of dizziness really quick. Ah! Oh! Oh, searing pain! Absolute searing pain! Ah! Oh my gosh! Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh! The animosity towards Vespa Mandarinia has only heightened with the emergence of that particular video, giving Americans more justification and more ammunition to take the absolute fucking piss out of us Asians. I've never truly been afraid of arthropods, unlike other bug enthusiasts. Even when I was born, I was deeply fascinated with them. But many Taiwanese women might find disgusting, we Taiwanese males find absolutely fascinating. I mean, honestly, I feel like I just grown way too comfortable with arthropods. I mean, what a world we live in where free handling a medically significant spider is considered a feat of bravery. However, combined with all these misconceptions, Vespa mandarinia is one of these few insects where it's considered a gamble to be in the exact vicinity of one of these amazing hornets. And it only takes one of these false allegations in order for the misinformed to roll up enough justification to avoid Asia altogether. One thing they do get right is that Vespa mandarinia is the largest member of the genus Vespa. Queens from these species tend to exceed 50 millimeters, which honestly isn't that impressive. Compared to beetle species like Megastoma, they really shouldn't arouse this much alarm as they do. Vespa mandarinia comes in a multitude of different color forms like Magnifica, Nobilis, Bellona, and of course Japonica. Vespa mandarinia as a whole has been attributed to some deaths, but not enough to garner this much hate. And most of the fatalities attributed to Vespa mandarinia stings are usually because the person fucking with the hornets in the first place are allergic to their venom. That saying Vespa mandarinia still has a painful sting, except that Vespa lutuosa has the more potent venom, with the lethal dosage being 4.0 milligrams, significantly more potent than Vespa mandarinia. Then again, Vespa mandarinia has a higher venom yield, so it kind of makes up for it. And with my personal observation, because these hornets actually occur in Taiwan, yes, I have to confirm that they're actually pretty docile if you don't fuck with them. Like any animal, uh, these hornets are not going to be constantly doing violent things. Which is why this individual from Ho Tong can share a meal with a cat without her being threatened. Now, one misconception I hear time and time again is the myth that these hornets are spiteful, likened to that of the Onryo. Which is a massive exaggeration. As far as I'm concerned, there is no scientific evidence which suggests that hornets hold grudges against humans. All this bullshit is doing is fear-mongering those hornets. Oh, but Paleo, my grandmother told me the hornets hold grudges. Well, womp womp, n****. Like hell, your grandmother's an entomologist. Get that shit out of here, Jordan. The fuck? Because I observed this happening, my brother swatted a hornet in the face with a spoon. And she did not even retaliate. My brother got off completely scot-free. And to this day, my little brother can still enter Hotong, Taiwan without getting stung. Okay, the spiteful hornet misconception seems to stem from local Asians who are less informed than I am. But in the West, this has been blown completely 
and utterly out of proportion. I mean, if you're gonna be launching projectiles at the Hornets, like these fucking idiots, then you deserve to be stung. This also applies with any wasp lineage, including bees. A lot of non-entomologists or entomology enthusiasts like to believe that these Hornets sting completely unprovoked, which just isn't the case. Many people don't realize how precious venom is. Definitely something these Hornets won't be wasting for the fucking hell of it. Or when the situation is petty. These Hornets are not gonna pull a Oishi Yashio and crash your wedding to kill you because you disrespected their queen. Nor will they hunt you down just to kill you because you killed their dog and stole their car. Another blatant misconception about Vespa Mandarinia would be the name Murder Hornet. For Vespa Mandarinia, their common name would either be Asian Giant Hornet or Northern Giant Hornet, also with multiple names based on the region of Asia they're in. To me, the name Murder Hornet sounds absolutely fucking cringe. The fact it's widely used shows how little people know about this insect. I mean, they already milked the shit out of killer bees, might as well move on to another cash cow. Another reason why I'm completely unfazed at the arrival of Vespa Mandarinia in Northern Laramidia is because we East Asians have been living with these hornets for as long as our civilization exists. We deal with these hornets on a daily basis. Another thing I forgot to mention is that these hornets are actually food aggressive and they will specialize in hunting different wasp lineages, including bees. Yes, bees are technically a lineage of wasps, considering they share a common ancestor with the Amoplanidae or hunting wasps. Another member of Vespa that displays such behavior is Vespa Tropica, which specializes in paper wasps. In fact, most members of Vespa do this. Such behavior sheds some light on the ecological relationship between Vespane as a whole and the other lineages of wasps. Because this tells us that these hornets may occupy a much higher trophic level than other like-minded Hymenopterans. However, the predator-prey relationship between Vespa and Apony seems to get a lot of people pissed off. Well, I mean, yeah, nah, that's putting it lightly. People get absolutely filthy when they see a video about Vespa Mandarinia or any other member of the genus Vespa attacking a member of the genus Apis, especially Apis mellifera, which considering you can trace their predator-prey relationship all the way back to the start of the Cenozoic, yeah, um, a lot of people tend to whinge about a lot of things, but this just takes the fucking piss. And what really fucking shits me up the wall is that Apis mellifera isn't even native to Asia. <laughs> native to Europe. Vespa Mandarinia, this whole time in their native range of Asia, are killing invasive bees and people are pissed off about it. I'm going to have to put on my fucking double seeing glasses because I can't even begin to see the amount of bullshit coming from you. Also, Vespa Mandarinia isn't exactly the only insect apex predator in Eastern Asia. Dragonflies such as this beautiful Anadogaster seaboldi. Or mantises, especially those belonging to the genus Tenodira, are exceptional rivals of Vespa Mandarinia. And people have to realize that these hornets aren't invincible. Also, people who say wasps are good for nothing are full of shit. Wasps are also known pollinators of angiosperm plants, especially hornets like Vespa mandarinia, in which they seem to be particularly fond of the genus Angelica. In fact, a lot of adult wasp species prefer nectar, whereas the larvae actually are the ones that require meat from other insects. Hopefully people can understand that there is more to hornets than just kill, 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 violence, kill. For example, their natural history. Vespani is a very derived lineage of eusocial wasp. Occurring throughout the Cenozoic era, you can trace lineage all the way back to the Paleocene with their first emerging member, Paleo Vespa, which occurred during the Paleogene in what is now Europe and Colorado. However, fossil evidence from the Shanwang Formation in China suggests that Vespa Mandarinia lightly emerged during the Miocene. This immediately elevates my fascination for Vespa Mandarinia, as well as the other insects of the Shanwang Formation. All in all, Vespa Mandarinia is an exceptional 
really awe-inspiring animal and deserves our utmost respect. And with a wave of sensationalism, misinformation, and absolute fucking brain rot, perpetuated by the most insufferable of dumbasses, we should do our best to try and properly educate people on these fascinating animals. And to those who subscribe to Bugs and Biology, I'm sure you already recognize the similarities between mine and Jackson's video because this is basically my answer to his video about Aussie spiders. One thing the spiders from the land down under and Asian giant hornets have in common is that they're both overly fear-mongered by Americans. While the locals from both continents do have a part to play, spreading the myths and misconceptions about our planet's mini beasts, it's solely the fault of Americans for being gullible enough to believe in those myths. And further sensationalize the cunts like some twisted game of Chinese whispers. The truth is spiders and hornets are not out to get you. Something a lot of bug enthusiasts, myself included, has been constantly reminding people time and time again. And it really does take a certain amount of persistence in order to convince these brick walls.